Americans will soon be able to get a prescription drug for cannabis-based drug. Epidiolex is used to treat people with severe epilepsy. It just got FDA approval yesterday. One of the leading experts on this drug lives right here in Cincinnati. Dr. Michael Privatera joins us now. Welcome, doctor. Well, thank you. We have spoken a couple of times about this. We've done stories, and it was a long road to get to this point. How many years and under what stringent circumstances? So it's, we started working on this drug about four years ago, mm -hmm. and the circumstances really had to do with its Schedule One. So that's the highest restriction the DEA can can do. So we had to have a safe. We had to have special approvals. It took us months and months just to get the regulatory approval to get the study started. And keeping in mind, we're talking about CBD here, not THC. THC What's right. the nuance there for folks at home who might not understand? Sure. So the, the, the plant has primarily two compounds, THC and CBD. THC is what people know that sort of makes you high. It's what we call the psychoactive effect. What we found is that if you take out all the THC, like in this compound, and you just have CBD, there doesn't seem to be any psychoactive effect. People don't feel like they're high. And all the abuse potential studies that the FDA has done have shown that it really doesn't have any, any evidence of abuse potential. So you tested this over four years, and you testified in front of the FDA. Right. What did you say in your testimony about how it works? Well, we. We use the most rigorous scientific studies to demonstrate that in the most difficult and challenging people, people who have failed every possible medicine for epilepsy, it showed dramatic responses. Not everybody was seizure free and not everybody was without side effects, but it's a really very effective drug, very much better than anything else most of these people had ever seen. So it will be available on prescription at a pharmacy in the near future. What does this mean for perhaps more research for other conditions, uh, treating those conditions with marijuana derivatives. Yeah. It, it's really exciting. The most important thing will be pretty soon the DEA will down schedule at least this drug you, out of you schedule think one. It, it will be down scheduled. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. It, 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 the minimum would be to schedule two, and it may go lower than that depending on how they interpret the abuse potential studies. Mm -hmm. But that'll really open the doors for research in lots of other different areas. So we can, people who do research in this area can look at things like PTSD, anxiety, chronic pain, things where we have anecdotal evidence where people have said, oh, you know, marijuana really helps this. But now we have, we have this more purified FDA approved drug. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's gonna make a big, big difference and you'll see lots of new research happening in the next five to 10 years which will provide big data. Dr. Right. Michael Privatera, thank you for joining us and for being such a resource on this story. Well, thank you.